Here's my question. Where is the male Oprah, a man with Oprah's enthusiasm for books? We need a Mopra. And today, I volunteer. If I could go house to house, ring doorbells, and tell all my neighbors about the book I was the most evangelical about, the one that I would thrust upon them is High Conflict, written by Amanda Ripley. High Conflict explains how we communicate with people we disagree with. And I think if there's one thing that's clear, right now in America, we disagree about a lot of things. Amanda Ripley is the best-selling author of The Smartest Kids in the World and a contributing writer at The Atlantic. Her book is full of stories about people who were in high conflict and who transcended it. Um, like uh, a gang member who overcame his anger and became a force for peace in his community. Um, or best of all, a group of Trump supporters, Christian conservatives who live in Michigan and invite a congregation of Jewish liberals from New York to live with them for three days, and they all live to tell the tale. If you're in the mood to lean into conflict while reading a novel, check out the final revival of Opal and Nev by a really exciting writer named Donnie Walton. Now, this novel doesn't need a Mopra because Oprah Magazine has already endorsed it enthusiastically, calling it fabulous and an utterly fresh take on finding your expression. Opal and Nev are a fictional a 1970s rock duo. They're legendary. Although this story is entirely fictional, it's written as a series of interviews, an oral history, with all the people who knew Opal and Nev. So who are Opal and Nev? Well, first of all, Nev is a, is a British guy. He's a singer-songwriter. He's a folkie. Um, but he needs some star power on stage. So he plucks Opal from obscurity. She's this young, dynamic black woman, marches to her own drummer. Um, imagine it's like Van Morrison teaming up with Tina Turner or Ed Sheeran and Lizzo, but in the 1970s. And Opal and Nev become huge. They're playing arenas. Uh, but then uh, tragedy strikes and they break up. And this book explores what happened to Opal and Nev and whether or not they'll ever revive. Donnie Walton's decision to write this novel as an oral history is the literary equivalent of what Bob Dylan did when he went electric. And seeing Opal and Nev through the eyes of the people who knew them the best um, is exhilarating. Uh, Ta-Nehisi Coates has called it one of the most immersive novels he's ever read. Jason Reynolds called it revolutionary. Kylie Reed compared it to VH1's Behind the Music, but I hope she wasn't thinking of the Millie Vanilli episode because I think that Opal and Nev deserve a lot more respect than that. And that is the word according to Karp.